Okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, we're filming, aren't we? We're, yes, we're filming. <laughs> You're um, gonna tell me I'm like sitting here staring at my Discord like. No, it's fine. It's still <laughs> water. Okay. Hi. Some of you may know me um, from uh, Bats Woodland Wares. I am Kelsey Bat, and this is my husband, Evan Bat. Uh, I just woke up from a nap and he asked me if I wanted to start recording some kind of business podcast and I was like, sure, <laughs> let me get a bottle of wine and pour myself a glass and let's let's do it. So he's apparently prepared some questions for me. Yep. This is, Whether they're good or not, we'll see. <laughs> this is something you and I have talked about doing for a long time, oh, yeah. though. Well, at least doing a podcast of some sort. like uh, Where we just talk about things. Currently, we're doing a video. We're doing a video, and I'm going to put it on YouTube. How cool is that? I think that's cool. Quarantine stuff. Finally getting around to this after... Years. Seven months in quarantine. Oh, <laughs> years in quarantine. Uh, yeah, feels like it. Anyway, we decided to do this because we're both kind of bored, and with the way things are right now... Uh, generalized term, things are kind of shit right now, overall. Um, so we decided to do this where we can sit down and have a conversation about some different things. Yeah. Business advice, what's going on with our animals, stuff like that. As, like, kind of an escape thing. Because we're both very stressed out and we're having a lot of anxiety right now. Um, yeah. so we're kind of doing this as just like a way where we can have a conversation that doesn't have anything to do with what's going on really. So, because that that's like all we talk about. <laughs> yeah, well, it's hard not to. Um, so I think we'll, this one, all my questions are business related. Okay. So here, this is the business advice episode. This is the business intro advice podcast and also we still haven't come up with a name for this podcast which is why I haven't said welcome to blah 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 <laughs> podcast because we have no uh, idea what we're doing. This is so. true. Help. Okay. <laughs> no we're supposed to be giving them advice. <laughs> okay got it. okay so uh, we know exactly what we're doing. Um, <laughs> we don't. Are you ready? Um, yes. Okay, so uh, first question. Uh, I've got several categories of questions, and so this is our first category, main main header here. Okay. Uh, starting a business, where to start? Uh, so first question is, oh, okay. what's your story and the story of Bats with and Wares? How you got started? Oh lord. Okay. Um. So in 2011, 2012 ish, yeah. um, I was in community college. Evan was finishing his degree at A&M. We were living together. I was having a lot of anxiety. I was miserable. I wasn't doing well in school. Um, I didn't, I liked my job, but it wasn't what I wanted to do. And so I started crafting more and I've always been a crafter. I've knitted since I was 10 consistently throughout my life. So um, I started crafting and in the beginning I was making like, I was thinking about this earlier and I was I was making like candy rave bracelets that were like really oh. shitty <laughs> and uh, feather earrings and like some other like kind of jewelry pieces. And I was originally Earth Moon Creations, which I was trying to be something that I wasn't. And I don't know why I came. Sorry, there's a fruit fly. <laughs> I have ADHD, so y'all are just gonna have to deal with that. Um, Try and to ignore the fauna. Right. So, <laughs> um, I, I just it kind of took off from there. I was doing this, I was doing that, and then we ended up. We Evan finished his degree, and we moved um, back up to the Dallas area where we were both raised. And um, at that point, I had kind of closed the business. Yeah, I had kind of stopped because I was like, eh, I, don't, I don't know what I'm doing. And I got another job. Evan got a really good job. 
and I was trying to go back to school and do all of that stuff and it just I was miserable. I remember being just miserable and I started knitting again and I was I was designing my own things at that point and I was posting in Facebook knitting groups which <laughs> I've been banned from almost every knitting group on Facebook but that's a story for another time. <laughs> Um, <laughs> that, that, that'll be a good I, story. Yeah. yeah. So it's really not that good of a story, but it's, I like to put it on my resume. Um, so I, I was like knitting again and I was designing my own stuff and people started asking me for patterns to my designs and I was like, okay. And so I was kind of doing that and I was also making and selling stuff. Um, but I was doing patterns and I didn't like doing patterns um because people ask me a lot of stupid questions and it just wasn't what I wanted to do so I decided to stop doing the patterns and um I had also at this point I had renamed the business yeah so when That's was what, that was that July it was, it was July, July 4th is when we opened it <laughs> July 4th of 2013 2013 was yeah. when I reopened as Baths Woodland Wares and I've been making and designing for, through Baths Woodland Wares ever since that's I think I kind of told the story yeah no that's great I don't think I left anything out that's, no no, no but I, that's think, like, I think that's a great like uh, you know other people might summary. have similar starts to their whole oh life. and I dropped during that time is when I dropped out of college <laughs> yes I dropped out of college around that same time because I was like I don't I'm not this doesn't work for me yeah I feel like uh, my mom was pissed. I feel like a whole there can be a whole separate conversation about yeah, I'm Education not. I'm not gonna. And, I'm not gonna get that into kind of stuff. that's that's a whole other yeah, thing. No, for sure, it just wasn't serving what you wanted to do. And it that was, was literally straining my will to live. Yeah, there is that. Okay, so uh, so let let's go into it. Some advice. So that's kind of okay. your story, right? Great. Uh, yeah, so yeah. someone wants to start a business. Uh, they might be saying, "What should I make? Uh, should I be following trends? What are your opinions on that?" My advice okay i'm gonna start with my advice and then i'll talk about my opinions about that um my <laughs> advice for some, if you have that drive where you want to start a business the number one thing that you need to do is figure out what you want to do <laughs> if you want to craft stuff and sell it if you want to have like a resale shop and sell stuff, if you want to do like kind of like the, what is it, the red bubble, red rubble, whatever it is thing where you design no stuff and then about. they, what? <laughs> no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> it's, it's like this website where you, you draw, you can like draw designs and then they'll put it on t-shirts and stuff. So basically like, oh, I yeah, think you upload, that do that, yeah. like you I'm upload sure. your design and then the people can buy t-shirts. <laughs> That was a cat. Let me just check. No, on. it's fine. Are you sure? I'll just. Pick it's out. fine. Is, is, is everyone okay? Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what that was. Um. Anyway, so there's like different things you can do, and I just I can't stress enough that you need to figure out what you want to do first when it comes to own like owning, operating, running a business. The first thing you need to do is you need to figure out something that you're passionate about. I wasn't yeah. passionate about making feather earrings. I did enjoy it, but it wasn't right for me. It didn't make sense for me. So I picked up knitting again and was making, I was making hats. I was making hooded little shrug things. Um, I made a couple of sweaters. I made hooded scarves. And I started off kind of by tweaking free patterns, but then as I got more comfortable with these kinds of designs, I was able to conglomerate and make stuff my own. But it's, 
it's important that you figure out what you want to do, what you're passionate about, like really yeah. what you're passionate about. Don't worry so much about what's trendy or what was the other thing you said, like following trends yeah, and yeah. don't, don't worry about doing that because you never know. You could come up with something that's not trendy, that is kind of like off the wall and people will love it. That's kind of where I came from is that I was, I started off designing things that I wanted in my own closet and I you shared, couldn't find. I couldn't, couldn't find, find the that. stuff. Yeah. And so it's like, obviously it wasn't trendy because otherwise it would have been available. Like the shrubs I wanted, I couldn't find anywhere. So I was making them and then people were like, oh my gosh, cause I shared them online and people were like, oh my gosh, I want the pattern or I want to buy one of those. Mm -hmm. And that's where it started. And so it's like, if you're going to like be a designer or you're going to craft stuff or whatever, do stuff for you and see where that takes you. Yeah. yeah. That's and, my advice. Yeah. And I agree. I mean, the thing is, is that think about what you're good at right now, what you're bringing to the table. What's your um, skill set right now? Yeah. Cause, cause if you decide, Oh, I really, you know, Oh, monogrammed mugs are really big. I want to do that. It's like, if you don't already have some skill in that, don't start, making a business around something you have no idea that you're not where you're starting from. That you're you not know? comfortable with. Yeah. Start with mediums that you're comfortable with and branch out from there. And uh, I mean this in the kindest way, get off of Pinterest. It's a dangerous, <laughs> dangerous place. I know I get sucked down the Pinterest hole all the time and I'm like, oh my gosh, that looks so cute. Oh my gosh, I want to make all of that. N no. And it's it not also, helpful for running your business. Like if you're doing a little home crafts and getting inspiration from there, that's one thing. But you're not going to be able to find something that you can then cultivate a business around. Because of I like, guarantee 500 people are already doing it. Exactly. I mean, if you look at Etsy and you go through and you see like all the same, so many of the of different shops have the same shit. Now, you brought you, up Etsy. I'll let you finish. Let me finish my train of thought <laughs> before I forget. You'll look at all these different shops that have the same shit. You don't want to be one of those. You want to stand out from the bunch. That's, that's, that's me though. I mean, obviously this podcast <laughs> disclaimer, um, this is your own opinion. This These is my own, own opinion. This is my own <laughs> advice. This is the advice that I actually follow. You don't have to. Please don't feel like you have to take my advice that my advice is going to work for you because it, it it may not. There's no one right answer to any problem or There's any not. question. There's really not.